One of the great things about the modern day praise and worship movement in the church is that many of the lyrics are taken directly out of scripture. Singing scripture back to the Lord is a great way to connect our hearts to him in both worship and praise. Music seems to be the language of the heart and the Bible says that spiritual decisions are made in the heart. So it stands to reason that singing opens the doorway between the heart of mankind and the heart of God. Years ago, three songwriters put their heads together and their hearts together to write this lyric based on a biblical teaching. It says, your love never fails, never gives up, and never runs out on me. It repeats that lyric, and then it ends with this great thought. It's a great love. Do you realize that love, real love, God's type of love is just this. It never fails. It outlasts so many things which we think are so important. Here's what 1 Corinthians says. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now, we see in a mirror dimly. But then, face to face. Now, I know in part. But then, I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. The Bible tells us that when Jesus finally comes and calls an end to this world, things which we have deemed important will fail, cease, and vanish. But love, God's type of love, will extend to eternity. These verses are enough to... Let me unpack them for three or four hours, so I just simply want to make this very simplistic for us. That passage ends with, now abide faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. So why is love the greatest? First, consider faith. Faith is us believing God for the unseen things which are yet to come, the things that we know that the Bible teaches us on the horizon. We have faith that he is in control. He is working it out. He is guiding it for our good and his glory. Next, we look at hope. Humanly speaking, we think of hope as the possibility of something that happens. Truthfully, most people hope to get to heaven. However, Jesus is the blessed hope that believers long to see and spend eternity with. He is the blessed hope. So finally, we see the word love, and we read that it never fails. And I love things that never fails. In fact, one of my favorite songs in years past is Jesus Never Fails. But watch, when Jesus comes back, we have no reason any longer for faith because faith will have now become sight. We will have no reason to have hope because Jesus, our blessed hope, will be seen. Do you know what will be left that day if faith has passed and hope has passed? The only thing left is love. And we will be together with our Heavenly Father, God, Jehovah God, who is love. We will be there because of our trust in Jesus. He and it, his love, never fails. Take delight and joy in him today and his love. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and thank you for how it overwhelms us. Thank you for the fact that it does never fail. Lord, today, come into our hearts and heal our hearts and heal our land. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.